everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is very interesting. We're gonna be going through my entire house decluttering 27 different things. So I encourage you guys to get inspired, watch this video, but then also maybe even put on some comfy clothes, pull your hair back, grab your phone and watch this video and do it along with me. Let's really get rid of stuff, declutter our life and just feel better. We're gonna be going through the kitchen, the bathroom, the closet, and a lot of miscellaneous things that you might not even ever think about, but if you actually donate, trash, just get rid of stuff you don't really care about, it's gonna make your entire life feel so much better. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started in the refrigerator and freezer, which really doesn't sound like fun, but let's just get it out of the way. So we're gonna throw out all of the expired food and maybe even some of those weird leftovers that are pushed to the very, very back that you forgot was even in there. I cannot be the only one. So then we're gonna move to the freezer and check for anything that has just that insane amount of ice or freezer burn stuck to it. So we tend to keep frozen food for so many years uh, just because most of the time it's not technically going bad, yet we never actually eat it. Now, since we're already in front of the fridge, let's declutter the front and or side of it. So many of us have this crazy collection of magnets where we stick bills and checks and school papers and report cards and photos and invitations for our convenience. But most of the time we never actually reference any of it and it just becomes an ugly cluttered mess. Now this leads me to kids art because that's another thing that many of us stick to the refrigerator or just have laying around on the counter because we can't throw it away. Our kids made it. So here's the thing. I think it's definitely important to keep artwork made by your kids. And for that, I really suggest buying a special decorative box to keep in their room where you can always add it. Now, just don't keep everything. Kids make new artwork literally almost every week. So it's okay to accept it, praise them for it, and then sometimes just talk it. We honestly cannot keep everything. Mugs. Oh my goodness, mugs. We all have too many freaking mugs. And don't get me wrong, I love mugs. I love getting new ones. I think they're really cute as gifts. And, and sometimes though, we just, we just need to downsize. So pick your favorite ones, the ones you're always reaching for, or maybe just pick a few also that make you smile and laugh and then just donate the rest. Kitchen utensils is next. And I honestly cannot stand opening my drawer that is so full, I can't even grab something out. Yet so many of us feel we need to keep all of the options and have duplicates and just in case one is ever dirty. So I think we need to get out of that mindset. We need to keep the ones we truly love and, and you know, the ones that actually work the best and then donate the old or even duplicate sets. Plastic or glass storage containers really annoy me too. And I'm sorry, I'm sounding probably kind of unhappy in this video. I don't mean to sound like that, but again, I can't be the only one who opens the cabinet door, has to shuffle around to find the best size container and the matching lid, etc. It's a whole process. Uh, so I recently saw someone suggest that you actually just keep all of your storage containers stacked with the lids already on. Now hear me out. I know this won't work for everyone because of limited space, but I really don't use too many containers at one time. And when I'm ready to grab one, I can literally just grab it. It's no more searching for matching lids and on Honestly, it kind of just looks more organized too. All right, now we're really onto a doozy and that is useless paper that can be easily recreated. And this tends to actually gather in people's kitchens, usually from bringing in the mail. Now, obviously, if you keep all of your useless paper somewhere else, like an office, you can do this there. But I really encourage you to all just start throwing out or recycling or burning all of your paper. In this day and age, almost everything can be recreated if necessary. Almost everything is online or in our emails or worst case scenario, you can make a phone call if you have a question. So toss out those bank statements, those owner manuals, coupons, advertisements, paid bills. Let's all do it, guys. It's also time to toss all of those magazines that still come in the mail to us, even though we never actually signed up for them. Too often do I still see them sitting on my kitchen counter or my table, just cluttering up the space. Now we're gonna move on to the bathroom and we're gonna start with the dried out nail polish that you probably have because oh my goodness, do I have so much. It's ridiculous. There is so much that's completely dried out that I could never actually wear if I wanted to, but even if it wasn't dried out, there are so many colors I would never wear anymore. Lotions and sunscreens are next and I have so much old stuff. I, I even thought I did this like a year ago, but here we are with you know a lot of old lotions that are definitely expired. Also check your sunscreens because a lot of people tend to buy a new bottle at the beginning of summer and then they kind of just accumulate old you know, and unfinished 
bottles. Makeup is next, and there are two different directions you should go here. So obviously you need to toss the really old makeup that's definitely expired. I know I keep saying the word expired, but it's something to you know keep in mind. And then I also encourage you to just get rid of makeup you literally never reach for. I know this is kind of hard to actually donate, but you could definitely offer it to a friend or a family member. Okay, so now you're gonna head to your closet. And I've done quite a few videos on big closet cleanouts, so I'm not gonna spend too much time here going through every single thing you should focus on. I'm just gonna highlight some things that aren't really talked about as frequently. So first I wanna touch on what I like to call the wedding guest dresses. So people tend to buy them to attend a wedding and then they kinda just sit there for years to come. And I'm not saying to donate them all, but there's most likely at least three or four you could probably donate that that you will never wear again and you'll never actually miss. Now it's time to go to your underwear and bra drawer. Just get rid of the ones you hate. We all have our favorites. Let's be honest with ourselves. We have the ones that we are always reaching for. We're digging, trying to find them. So it just doesn't make sense to keep the ones we don't like. It's making the drawer look more messy. It's making it more cluttered. And it's honestly just making it harder to find the ones you're actually looking for. Swimsuits you just never wear is another category to consider. And it's kind of like our underwear and our bras. We just have our favorites or we tend to buy a new one at the beginning of the season. So donate the ones you just never reach for. Costume jewelry that you never wear is next. And you know, just with costume jewelry, styles are just always changing and, and they're usually never like too expensive. So we tend to accumulate a lot. And then we kind of run out of places to keep them. Things start to get tangly and messy. So just pick some pieces you never wear and say goodbye. Jackets and coats are next. And I kind of feel like this genre is often forgotten because they're not usually kept in a closet. They're usually kept in like a coat closet or behind doors or even multiple places through the house. But the thing is, jackets and coats are so big. They take up so much space. So let's just donate the ones we never actually wear. Okay, so now we're on to the miscellaneous section, which is actually my favorite. Decluttering these items really isn't too hard and I think it makes a big impact. So if you have kids, let's start there and gather up all the toys that they never actually play with and would never actually notice if they were gone. Just make sure you do it while they're not around. And while you're at it, let's move on to the next thing, which is gathering up toys that are actually just missing pieces. And unfortunately at my house, there's more of this than I'd like to admit. Pens and markers that no longer work are next. And just go everywhere through your house and toss the used up markers, the pens without the ink, check your kitchen, check your office, check your kids' rooms. You'll be surprised how many dried up ones you'll actually find. Cleaning supplies you keep, but never use is next. And I don't know why this one just makes me laugh. Literally everyone does this in multiple rooms and maybe it's under your kitchen sink or in a bathroom closet or in the garage. We all have so many old, old, old cleaning supplies that we never touch. Ooh, pillows are next. And this is another one of those items that just takes up so much space. And again, styles are constantly changing. And one way to update your space is to just buy new decorative pillows. But the best way to do this is to simply buy new pillows covers, but most of us don't actually do this. And then we start to accumulate, you know, out of style pillows that we then attempt to use in other parts of the house, which never really works out. And so to the donation pile, they go. Now, speaking of decor pieces, let's donate some decor we're just tired of. And sometimes, you know, too much decor can make our homes look cluttered. And obviously you should decorate your house however you like, and in a way that makes you feel at home but interior design is definitely headed toward a more minimalistic look. So we could all probably stand to get rid of a few things. And don't forget about the out of style holiday decor too, because like everything else, even holiday decorations can go out of style. So this is something I encourage you to do at the beginning of each new season or holiday. But if you happen to store your decor within reach or it's not too much of a pain to go get some things, you might as well grab some things that you no longer use because by the end of this video, you're gonna have this huge pile of donations and it's just easiest to get it all done at once. VHS, CDs, and even DVDs are next. And we all know these are totally outdated and we're kind of just keeping them at this point for sentimental value. Now, if you have family memories and photos on these storage things that are outdated, you probably should work to get them saved elsewhere. But most of these are just old movies and music that you'll never be able to watch or listen to. All right, so we have spent a lot of time in our house today. Let's actually quickly go to our vehicle and just take like five or 10 minutes and gather all of the trash along the doors, under the seats, on the floors. This is the quickest way just to declutter your car. And if you're feeling extra wild, you could even spend a little time vacuuming. Now, am I going to do that today? No. 
All right, so back into the house, and the next two decluttering tasks actually don't involve anything hands-on or tangible, but doing this will make your life far less cluttered. So you're gonna go to your email inbox and spend five minutes unsubscribing to emails. As time goes on, our email address just keeps getting sold to companies and brands, and we just start having too many emails coming in. And we usually just hit the delete button rather than actually unsubscribing. A DVR purge is next. Now I know Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, they've gotten super popular in the last few years, so this may not apply to everyone. But if you do have a DVR where you record shows, go take a few minutes and spend some time deleting content that you'll never actually watch. I did it. That was a lot. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of more than maybe what it really felt like in the video, but if, if you actually did that with me, then you're feeling it too. But guys, I feel so much better. Genuinely, I feel so much better, even just moving forward for the rest of the year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was inspirational. And subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.